Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to another episode of Daredevil. Apologies that uh, there was no episode last week, but real life has really been getting in the way quite a lot. Um, yeah, the last episode we saw was quite tense. Um, we saw the death of Wesley, which was a shame because I really like Wesley as a character and I was really interested to um, see more about the background between him and Finch. Uh, sorry, Fisk. I don't know why I said Finch. <laughs> I'm thinking of Harry Potter, probably. Um, yeah, him and Fisk. I mean, they seem to be very, very close, you know, nigh on best friends, and yet it's never really explained, you know, why that is. And now that, you know, Wesley's dead, I'm wondering as to whether we're going to get that story as a um, kind of intimate scene with Fisk and maybe, you know, um, Vanessa. You know, he explains to her how they met, why they're so close, yada, yada, yada. Um, also expecting Daredevil to get his suit. We saw him fight the um, very unusual sort of armor guy who's been working for Fisk and convinced him to work for him, you know, for, for him. So I am expecting, if not this episode, the next episode we'll see the Daredevil suit. Um, which, I don't know, I, I like the black get-up that's... Matt has, um, even though obviously it offers no protection. I think the just very simple black look is uh, quite striking, and I think it's uh, it's a good look. So anyway, why don't we jump into this? So enough chat. Let's react. <laughs> Again with the alcohol in this series. All three of the uh, the main characters are going to end up alcoholics. A very heavy emphasis on alcohol dependence. In the face of a killer. Jesus Christ, it's like nine in the morning. And you still want alcohol? Are you not hung over like? It's a difficult thing. No. She's gotta be dreaming. The feeling of the weight and responsibility of all the years the person you've murdered has lived. The moments that they've cherished. The dreams that they've struggled towards. It's gone. This has got to be a dream. Of you. I want you to know something. Something important that I've learned. It gets easier. The more you do it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was a dream. You and Foggy are the only good things in my life right now. Karen, did something happen? He can tell. He's going to be able to tell by a heartbeat. Yes. Why is she going to confide in him and not Foggy? The world fell apart. <clears throat> Didn't you notice? Uh oh. Does he know about Wesley, or...? No, not yet. She's, wake She's waking up. You... Don't, don't speak. Oh, she's going a bit crazy. They could never take you away from me. She's going full on evil queen. Not now. Go. No. No, I can wait. I'll stay here. I'm not leaving. I'll make them suffer for what they've done. <laughs> Expect. Most people, you know, would 
except I love you. But no, they shall suffer a horrible death. Is how this couple works. Sorry, sir. What is it? They've located him. And where is he? E. D. Are they going to think it's linked? They're going to think it's the same person. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. It wasn't his fault. This is the best time to be beating your men to death. Whoa, what a dive. Athletic. He's, I like that he's tracking them by the music as well. Yeah. This is full on Daredevil gymnastics. Daredevil parkour. But most of the time, now, working for this paper, I might as well be wearing lipstick and a red dress. <laughs> Take the rest of the week. You're suspended. Look, just take another look at it. Fisk is leaving a trail of bodies, and if we don't stop... Wilson that, Fisk is spending millions of dollars trying to save this city. Maybe you should drop the Woodward and Bernstein and try writing a story about that. How much is he paying you? <sighs> oh. Ever since Union Allied, I can't get a story that's about... That makes sense. Really happening in the city to print. Wow. From being asked to be the new editor to being fired in the space of a few episodes. You'd think with someone going around in the dark assaulting people, they'd be able to afford better lighting. Where are you going? It's not break time yet. Uh oh. Madam Gow. Uh, what are you doing, Matt? Why is he stood in the middle of a load of people? Couldn't find anything on the Japanese that puts them on this. Not How stupid can you be? Bastards are like shadows in a dark room. Maybe all this really was that nut in the mask. Don't say so. Dumbass. Yeah. That's a hell of a lot of blind people to get rid of. Oh shit. Something beyond the distractions of your world. You have taken that what? from them. Now they will have nothing. You're gonna tell me about Fisk. Oh shit! Old lady's got power. Weren't expecting that. Right, yeah, you might want to get out of there now. The blind people have got no idea where to go. Well, you destroyed the factory at least. And now they're about to find a huge drugs factory. Do what you want. I could honestly care less. If he finds out what we did, this isn't going to matter. Oh yeah, it was them. Not yet. That could change. I knew it, the way that Leland was acting. And the reward, if his woman were to be removed as a distraction. I uh, should have just had her shot. Uh, was that him? Yeah, that was him during the Avengers, the first Avengers. Yet more liquid courage. That's what this episode's been about. That's all you need to make an internet vlog, kids, is a, 
a bottle of liquor, and a laptop. <gasps> I've made mistakes. Oh shit. In the years since I was a boy. I tried to learn from them, but it isn't always enough. Is this the same monologue that he oh, was saying in the dream? First, I'd, I'd like to have a conversation with you, off the record, of course. Oh, shit. You think I believe anything you have to say? So, I am not here to threaten you. I'm here to kill you. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. <sighs> I just had a feeling the entire series that something bad was going to happen to Ben. Well, I had a dark ending. I very much like how they, uh, you know, the parallel, the very beginning and the very end, um, they kind of mirrored each other, but one was a dream and one wasn't. Um, I just had a feeling right the way through that Ben was not going to survive, you know, and I'm not just talking about this episode. I mean, you know, certainly the last half season, I would say at least, um, Usually when an investigator gets involved and pokes his nose around, especially when he's not the main character, things don't normally end well. And you look at main characters and you think, okay, who's expendable? And, you know, you'd certainly say that the main three, Karen, Foggy and Matt, aren't expendable. So you go to your secondary characters um, who are still very relevant to the plot. And, you know, unfortunately, it just so happens to be Ben. Um... Which is just going to send Karen again over the edge. You know, everyone she seems to get close to just seems to either get, you know, just beaten or killed. Um, and it's not been a good time for her. Fisk is going off the rails. We learned Madame Gao and Leland were the ones who, you know, tried to kill off Vanessa, which, again, I called from the way that Leland was acting when he had the poison. You know, um, uh, Madame Gao certainly seems like she can pack a punch. You know, I'm guessing that we may not see her again in Daredevil. I know that she does pop up elsewhere, um, but I'm guessing that's it for her on on Daredevil. And the season finale is going to focus on Fisk. Um, but yeah, we've got one more episode to go, so I really enjoyed that. Very dark, but again. I like these kind of gritty series. So yes, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you for the next episode.